Okay, Otto, are you ready for your weekly checkup? Okay, gotta make sure you're running right. Yeah, let's try your right arm. Right arm up, right arm down. Left arm up, left arm down. Can you clap? Hey, you are looking good, yeah. Oh, wait, wait a second, what, there's, there's someone, there's someone behind you. No, there's nobody else on the ship. It's, 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 oh, it's Cap, Cap, Captain, Captain McCruel? Ah, uh, I can't move. Arr, that's right, it's Captain McCruel. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that McFool. Put him in a safe place until later. Hey, Bird Ray, get off my shoulder. Get over and stow away, baby. Oh, you've been hitting the pork rinds pretty good, haven't you, brother? Ah, ah, there you be. It's all Oh, that McFool is heavy. That's right, it's Captain McFool, everyone's favorite intergalactic space pirate. And I'm here to take over this vessel. I'm sick of McFool beaming a policeman and dentist and other worthless members of society. <laughs> and now to enact my great plan. <laughs> My plan to take all the cheese from the moon and sell it to the mice is on Earth. <laughs> the captain. Ask yes, what do you want, Bird Brain? I hate to tell you this, but the moon's not made of cheese. It's, it's not? No. And besides that, I don't think mice have much money. They they don't? Nope. Arr, be a mutineer, bird brain. I don't think so. How'd you like me to sell you to a one-legged farmer in Louisiana? Louisiana? That's right. I think it's hot there, no. That's no right. thanks. And you're headed that way if you cause me any more trouble. You understand, bird brain? Yep. All right, the next thing I've got to do is reprogram this mechanical moron back here. Let's see, where's McCool's control? Hmm. Let's see here, how do these controls work? Hey, my friend, I'm gonna reprogram you, so you're gonna listen to me, you understand? Let's see, I should push this, that, and this. Ha ha ha! All right. You tin-plated tuna can, put up your dukes. Ah, ha, ha, salute me. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Now, deactivate yourself until you sense any strangers or unwelcome visitors on the ship. Now it's time for me to investigate the rest of the ship. So long, McCool. We'll be seeing you in a little bit. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. He's rough, he's been tough. You know that he has the right stuff. Broken the mold, he's McBone. His story's about to unfold. It's here, it's now, it's on. Captain McCool, it's McCool in his spaceship now. It's McCool in his spaceship now. It's cool, it's cool, man. It's Captain McCool. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Right, rough, and I'm rough. I'm really a radical rough. I'm no cool, and so kind. Hey. You got a pork rind? Rhyme it, rhyme rock, rhyme wrong. I'm ruler and boo. Hey, who let that dog in here and who said he could sing? Well, you can't even understand half of what he's saying. Give me that mic, you mangy. Arr! Okay, okay, you can hold it. Well, see if you can keep up with me. 
right right I'm sure. It's the cool in his spaceship now. It's the cool in his spaceship now. It's goo, it's goo, and it's Captain Magoo. Grand Moo Rog A Goo. Oh yeah. Hi, kids! Hi, Mike! I have my good friend, my best friend in the world here, Vivian! Can you say hi? Great group! Wow, everybody's got a nose today! Yippee! Wow, what a handsome bunch of kids! Well, should we do so? We're gonna do our little song now? Vivian, I love your voice! Yes, we're doing a song for you today! Why do you like my voice? Something about it I just love! Is who's talking? You or me? I can't tell anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll start. Okay, let's sing a song. Go ahead. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. Well, I'm, boy, I'm sure glad you got the high stuff. When skies are gray, you'll never know, dear. Boy, you got me on that one. How much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Take a bow. Take a bow. That was wonderful. I just love your voice. Vivian. Vivian! Uh, what, 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 what? We have guests! The children are here! Wake oh, up! Oh, 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 I was just on a little nap break there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, Wait, should we do a knock knock? Yes, a knock knock! Go ahead! Okay, here we go. Knock knock! Who's there? Champ! Yes, Champ, boy, you're here! It's duty! <laughs> <laughs> boy, so is mine now when I think of it. You know, I have... You've got the funniest... Would you, who does your hair? My hair? Yeah, look at that, you got pink and blue hair. That's really kind of punk, isn't it? Well, but I had it before punk was in. Oh, well then you're cool. I love your hair. Do you? It was, uh, it's made from, uh, an old mop. <laughs> <laughs> I have a knock-knock joke. Okay, go ahead. Knock-knock. Who's there? Yeah. Tank. Tank, who? You're welcome! <laughs> my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn! Okay, here we go. Uh, knock, knock! Who's there? Little old lady! Little old lady, who? I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> okay, one more. I have a riddle for you. For me? Yes. Okay. What has three heads? is ugly and smells stinky. Um, I got it. Will he catch him? No, no, that's silly. I was going to say, my mistake, you don't have three heads. <laughs> Wait a minute, sister. That sounded like a little bit like a, like a, like a, like a, like you're trying to get cute. You're not getting cute, are you? It was a joke. Lighten up. All right, all right. Boy, oh boy, is that ever a good audience, huh? They are. <laughs> hey, I got a, I got a one more knock knock. Just one more. Just one more knock knock. You ready? Okay, here we go, kids. Knock knock. Who's there? Shelby. Shelby who? Shelby coming round the mountain when she comes. Boop, boop. <laughs> You know, I bet Don Shelby would like that joke. <laughs> Baby, yeah. I like your humor. That's great. Well, thank you. You're such a good friend. Oh, thank you. You know, Captain McCool was supposed to meet us here. He was going to see you. Yeah, I wonder. I haven't seen him anywhere. He's not there. He's nowhere. Oh, I smashed my hand on this. Look, cut that out. Okay, anyway. I haven't seen him either. No, I was in the other part of the ship. I didn't see him. Hmm. 
He said he'd be here right now. You think he'd be down in, uh, down in the steerage? Or no. maybe, uh, crawling up the mast? No. Or, uh, where would he be? I know where Captain McCool would be. In the kitchen. He's always eating. Eat, 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 eat. That's all he does. You know, I was in the kitchen. He wasn't there. Oh, well, maybe he's eating somewhere else. But well, what do we do if we... I wanted to say hello to him today. I know. Well, what do we do? Well, I know. What? This was the day Sergeant Reed was coming to visit. He has some tickets to the policeman's banquet to sell. Are you talking about the famous Sergeant Feet? The very one! I've never heard of him. He... <laughs> Haven't you heard of the case of the missing pork rinds? Oh, yes! The case of the missing pork chops. I remember that. One of pork rinds! He solved it! He solved the famous pork rind mystery? Yes, that's the same Sergeant V. Well, how did he, how did he solve it? With his brilliance, I guess. No, he doesn't have any of that. Maybe, maybe he solved it. I know. He found the bag in his pocket. I'll bet you that's how. What? No. No, he didn't. Well, hey, there's Sergeant Steve. Hey, how are you? I'm just fine. I always shake hands. Oh, we'll shake hands. With my friends, yeah. I always shake hands with my friends. Oh, nice hey. hand. Ah, ow. That ow. was friendly. That was very nice. That was nice. It didn't even hurt. Look, <laughs> look, didn't even hurt. Wow. So, um, like, what are you guys doing? What's up? Well, we were telling knock-knock jokes here, oh. and we were having a good time with the kids, and then suddenly we realized we don't know where Captain McCool is. Hmm. And I've come aboard to, to sell those tickets, as I do uh, almost daily, so that we can, uh, we can buy new uniforms and uh, wash our socks. Oh. So, uh, you know, I have, I've got some training, uh, 27 uh, years of training. Maybe I can help find Captain McCool. Well, I hope so. Well, let, let me test test one of my brand new tools. All right, what is that? Um, it's a, a magnifying glass or something else. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see if I can look around and, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hopefully I'll be able to spot the captain with this, uh, this tool. You know, one time with, uh, with uh, this investigatory tool, I, uh, I spotted a leopard. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I thought they were all spotted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're the guy that's been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to continue to look for Captain McCool. I'm looking for clues and Captain McCool. And, boy, this is, this is real difficult looking for him. Can you know, I'm help? looking for clues. I, you guys can help if you, if, if you want. But well, look for fingerprints. Fingerprints. Oh! <laughs> It's this terrible. You should be me. Yeah, well, I yeah, am I'm trapped not. by Otto. And the only thing I can figure? What? He has been reprogrammed by Captain McCrew. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, the meanest, rottenest, meaner than a junkyard dog. Oh, he's so bad. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how am I going to get out. I know. There's one way to get out of this. What's Just that? one. And in Latvian, it's pronounced Vince, isn't oh. it? Yes, it is. In okay. Latvian, it's Vince, number one person that can get me out of it. The most powerful human being on earth. You guys have any idea who that is? Uh, no. The Green Hornet? No, no. Oh, you're very close, though. You are about Superman? this close. Oh, I no. got it. I More know, powerful I know, than I know, Superman. I know, I know. It's Slobodan Milosevic. The Lone Ranger? Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, guess, guess, here. Oh. Guess Mel Gibson. Go ahead, guess Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson? No. Oh. No. The best detective, the person that is more powerful than bad breath, that's more powerful than stinky armpits, wow. and the best investigator there ever was. Wow. Who's that? Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, yeah. You want to know? Sure. Yes. Okay. How, sh how long should I wait? Oh, I'm going to Tell you right now? Second. Ready? Yeah. Set. Willie Ketchum. Oh. We need Willie Ketchum. Willie I can't Ketchum. get out of here. Look at this. Special friend of Willie Ketchum. Uh, yes, I worked for him for years, and and he is a very good detective. Do he's kind of short, but he's he's a very good detective. Do well, you still have his phone number? Sure. Hey, it's uh. Hey, 
Hey, you guys. You guys, before you figure out the phone yeah. number, yeah. could you just just do it? I want to get out of here. I'm <laughs> captured. I got to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll go call him. Okay. So long. I'll be there. I'll be there. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Will it catch him? I'll have to tell Captain McCruel about this. Captain McCruel, Captain McCruel. Ah, hey, Bird Brain, what do you want? I saw Willie Ketchum snooping around the ship. Not the Willie Ketchum. Yes, the Willie Ketchum. What are we going to do? Ah, uh, brimstone and bile. This throws a monkey's chest into everything. Bird Brain, get the shuttle started. Get it warmed up. We got to get out of here. Okay. Arr. Well, I'll be leaving you, Space Cadets. But let me tell you something. This is not the last you see of Captain. Ha, 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 ha. Willie, catch him! Whoa. Help me, help me! I'm... Sergeant Vake, did you just call me? I called you, yes. Look, I'm in deepest <laughs> trouble. You There's are. a lot of stuff happening. You're the I... first person I've ever met with four hands. That's incredible. How do you do that? Oh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Don't tell me. These are the hands of Otto that has been reprogrammed yes. by, I believe, Captain McCrew. Yes, yes. I'm captured. I can't get out of here. You can't. Can you wait help a, me? Wait a minute. I have a way. I have a way. I have this automatic thing in my pocket, an automatic thing. Ah, a uh, tool. No, was it by remote chance. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I have here something that will deprogram Otto to release you. Now, for a dollar, I'll do it. Could you loan me a dollar? Sure, I got yeah, a dollar thanks, right yeah. here. Yeah, Could okay. you, but do you have a 20? I could yeah, give there's you a 20. Yeah, thank you very okay. much. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Now, for 20, I'll release you. Okay, absolutely. I'll owe you a dollar, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. I owe you a dollar now. Okay, yeah. Okay, right. Okay, okay. okay yeah. here you go. You ready? Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. If I release you, you got to pay me. I'm okay, sure, here we go. I'm sure here I, can, go. I can owe it to you. This yeah. should work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it worked. Oh, boy. Let's see. It worked. Yeah, and it's by remote chance it worked. Oh. So what do we do now? We've got to find Captain. Maybe if we just look around some more. Maybe if okay. we move one foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. and then the other foot in front of the other, okay. other father, you know, and then we just keep on what? going and look around. Show me around. how that works. I don't okay. want to make a mistake Let's here. Let's see. We oh, oh, I got it. I, yeah, I got that. Oh, yeah. And set it. Plant it. Good. Good. Got Bring good. this other one and uh, tap, it. tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Lift a little. Okay, and move then it this ah, way. I got gotcha. you. You know, I, yeah. you know what I think we what? need to do. What I think we need to get uh, add a little bit of light to this situation. Maybe I if see. we turn on the light, maybe that'll help us find some. Clues but in order or to have any light, you need a lamp. Mm -hmm. And when you have a lamp, you have a lamp shade. And so we are both trained investigators, are we not? Yes. There might be one very close to us. Let's look, look around a little bit more. Look, look, look. It's him! It's him! It's Captain McCool. I can tell by the expression on his face. That's him. Yeah. Now what yeah. do we do? Well, I, oh, he's been he's been what? Uh, he's uh, been D. He, one of those he, D he, things. He's got to be D. He's, yeah. He's been a. It's one of them things that that he's like. I just happened to bring. This is a, a D. Uh, what they call it? A D a D rigimator. Yeah. It's a D rigimator. It's a D rigimator. Yeah. That's and it. you might can use it on a turkey or on your. Uh, cake at Christmas. No, but I want to do this now. This originator. Let's try if we just... in the spot. Okay, the spot okay, just is... a second. Let me get this part. Okay, here uh, we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, here we go. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. It's, it's working. It's working. Oh, oh yes. Ah Where am I? It's all white. I it see worked. the light. It, it worked. Oh. Just a second. I think we can help oh. him out of there. I don't okay. want to wake up, Mommy. Oh, wait, wait, What's where, that what echo, was this? That echo hollow sound there. How did I get this on my... It is Captain McCool. Will he catch him? Captain. Sergeant V. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing here? We're, we're looking, looking for... Oh, oh, we're searching for clues. We're looking oh. for you. The last thing I remember is some red thingy ma job jabbing in my arm and... That, you mean that? This? That's... Oh, that, that, this that is, arm that's here. That's right, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. And my evil... When Captain McCrew, he must have sabotaged the ship. That's it. He, oh, he sabotaged the ship. Oh. Willie Ketchum saved me. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, we, we oh. saved you. Well, oh, thank so you, happy. thank you so oh. much. Oh, let's oh, give him a oh, hand. Let's, yeah. For Sergeant Veed and Willie Ketchum. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs>
guys. <coughs> Who knows what evil McCruel had planned for this ship wow. and I, for the Loyal Space Cadets. What a relief. I bet you, you know, Whew. the pork rinds could have disappeared again. Oh. And that was a tough case. But, gentlemen, I have got tickets to sell, oh. okay, oh. to the policeman's banquet. Yeah, really? That's my sole job. Okay. Uh, I never do law enforcement anymore. I try to get on <laughs> ship and sell tickets, right. uh -huh. okay, okay, so we can buy more polyester oh, shirts. Oh, Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're styling. Yeah. That's wonderful. Gentlemen. Are you leaving? Oh. I'm out of here. I am going to get dematerialized oh. or something and okay. sent back to Sergeant the city of Newport. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, you saved the ship. You, Larry! you, you yep. Oh no! Larry oh no! No! Oh, who, 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 oh, who's this? Oh, this, this is my dog, Moon Dog. Moon Dog. Moon Dog. He's, 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 he's a big fan. Well, he's a big. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, he's, yes, he's, uh, what a hug! I don't, you know, I don't know if you should. You, I don't mind a hug. I don't okay. know if you can trust him. <laughs> so this is. Oh no! No, Moon Doggy. Moon Doggy. Oh no! I'm. Oh no! Oh, I'm I've been sorry. have I been slimed um, or slurped here? I'm so, get me a towel, some. Oh, I'm I'm. Oh, 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 oh my I'm goodness! Sorry. Oh, I I'm a. Oh. I, you know you saved my ship and everything. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, oh look, I sneezed oh, all over you. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh you look terrible. Oh, oh wait, oh, wait oh. here. Oh. <laughs> I, I am oh, so wait, sorry. Right here. Right. Oh. <laughs> Blow hard. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. oh, let's get you going. Okay. Ah. Moon doggy. Ah. Take a hike. Take a how embarrassed. Look I'm at forever oh. blowing in bubbles. Oh. That's, may I have that? Yes, thank yes, you, man. Mm -hmm. Well, Hello. you know what? As long what? as you're here, yes. um, I seem to remember that it, on the ship's uh, deck that we have. Old episodes. At least we have a clip. They're all old. They're all old. <laughs> right, right. At least yes. five years old. I yes, think. Yes, I'm course. Um, of of your. This, of course, is Willie Ketchum, mm -hmm. and he was in the Clancy and Willie show. And uh, I grew up. I grew up with uh, Clancy and Willie. And I think we have a clip of you and Vivian. Oh yes, and, I know that you're going to yeah. you're going to meet Vivian. Right. Uh, Vivian you're going to meet Clancy. Oh. And Willie Ketchum is in this yeah. uh, shot. Yeah. And also, um, um, Auntie Ketchum. Auntie Ketchum. Oh, oh my, good old my Auntie Ketchum. Old yes. Fuddy duddy yes. Uh, Auntie. She's just. Oh. And by the way, something very strange happens at this at the end of this little episode. So stay tuned. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Ooh. Roll them. <laughs> Hi. We've had a mysterious disappearance from our detective agency this morning. Gee, I better discuss it with my private secretary, Vivian Vulture. She lives behind this portrait of our founder, Sherlock Groan. Oh, I hope Vivian can help me. Hi, Clarence. Vivi, remember that box of TNT powder that we keep back in the clues closet? Yes, what about it? It's gone. Disappeared. It's disappeared? Yes. Clarence, do you realize if that stuff gets into the wrong hands, why it could blow this agency to kingdom? Um, well, Viv, if you haven't seen that box of TNT powder, I wonder whether Willie Ketchum or Auntie Ketchum have seen it. Well, gee, I don't know, Clarence. The last time I saw him, he was back in the laboratory. I'll go back and check with him right away. Okay, good luck. Clarence, Clarence, I found it. Found what? <laughs> well, I found the TNT powder container. Oh, great, where'd you find it? Oh, back there where Auntie was making her cake. Oh, Willie, <laughs> well, look out. This is dangerous. Somebody could get hurt. You no, know, Clarence, there's no problem. It's empty. Empty? Yes. Well, then what happened to the TNT powder? I don't know. Maybe it's spilled on the floor, Clamp. I'll go check that. Oh, gosh, if the TNT powder isn't on the floor, and it isn't in this container, where is it? Ah. <laughs> Empty? Yes. I found this container of powder beside your cake mixing bowl back in the lab. Oh, yes, Clanky. Well, I always say, what's a cake without baking powder? You see, my brand was all up. I use yours. I hope Auntie, you, you use <laughs> this powder in that cake? Well, yes, Clanky. Well, Angie, do you realize uh, this is tough and terrible? Yeah. One of the world's worst explosives, especially when it's near heat? Oh, you mean heat like on a candle, Clanky? Especially like a candle, Angie. Like on that candle, Clanky? Yes. Uh-oh. Look out, Clanky. Boy, oh boy. Uh, that, 
That was that was some cake. That's some cake. Yes, wow. indeed. It's called dynamite cake. Wow. wow. Uh, Boom. Remind me not to have a piece of that. Yes, that's pretty scary stuff. But we did that a long, long time ago. Uh -huh. We used to have all kinds of sight gags like that on, uh -huh. on the show. Things falling apart and things breaking and cakes blowing up uh -huh. and me tripping and stumbling around. Great fun. We did that on WCCO television for about 16 years. That's John Gallus who was playing the part of Clancy and all the other people in that was me. It was a, <laughs> it was a wonderful show. It was a wonderful but show. But you're still doing some things. Yeah, speaking of shows, I, I now am doing my own shows, uh -huh. Captain. And, and you're sometimes better known as Alan Lotsberg. That's true. Right. When I when I'm doing my own shows, I'm called Alan Lotsberg, who is the writer-producer of a little show. It's called the The New Foggy Follies, and this is a uh, kind of a Can little flyer a for it. Sure. There's a flyer uh, of our for our next show, and it's a bunch of people who are 50 and older, and all they do is just have a wonderful time uh, singing and dancing and telling jokes and doing pratfalls and all that. And I guess I'd encourage you to come see our show. It opens May 30th, and right down by my thumb is a telephone number to call. It's 952-593. 5671. Did you say say that again? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll say do that it again. again. Okay. <laughs> it's 952-593-5671. And the show is called Yours Truly GI Joe. Mm -hmm. And what it is is a tribute to the people who served, men and women who mm -hmm. served uh, in the military during World War II. Okay. And it's a wonderful song, show full of great songs and patriotic things and it's just a marvelous show. So please come see us. Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm going to come and see. Oh great, yes, yeah. you come. Yeah. And bring uh, what's the uh, the guy with the, the the badge and the funny glasses. Oh, yes. Sergeant Beat. Sergeant, yes. Sergeant yes. Beat, yes. yes. Bring yes. the sergeant along, too. Yeah. Well, as a closing a little gesture here, what I'd like to do is just present something to you. Wow. Maybe you can use this on the ship. It might be helpful. Uh -huh. uh, do you have uh, ropes and lines and oh. things like all over the place? We have all sorts of stuff. Cables, you, know, you name it. Things that happen all the time, <clears throat> I know, on ships are things like when a line will break, you know, and uh -huh. maybe you're hoisting something and uh -huh. the line breaks. And then you you, you got to repair the rope, of course. Sure. And so a way to do that, of course, would be just to take a and tie a knot in the rope like that, and then then you, you oh, know, I can, back yeah, to one piece wow, of rope. Just but sometimes the, the knot gets in the way. Yeah. So here's what I've got. I'm going to untie this now, so uh -huh. it's really back to two. Would you hold that for me, sure. please? Sure. Okay. Sure. What this is, I brought you something, and what this is is a nautical knotter. Yeah, it's a, a nautical kn knotter. Can you guys say that? Nautical <laughs> knot. That's right. And what it is is it's a it's a thing that automatically tell, ties knots in ropes. Wow. Yeah, so you're going to have let me I'll take these two pieces of rope and wow, I've uh, never heard of such a thing. you just hold that yeah, like that. Okay. And here's how it works. I'm going to take these two pieces of rope and you this will you can do this on the ship anytime oh, you want. Oh, I can you always use this. Two yeah. pieces of rope like this and you just wad them together any way you want uh -huh. and put it inside the nautical knotter. You wow. put it inside and look I'm gonna, I put those in there, those two pieces of rope, and they're gonna come out tied. Really? Yeah, it's gonna come out, it's gonna it's come gonna out, tied. it's gonna come out tied. Tied. Uh, oh, boy. That was, I yeah. <laughs> Okay, tied. Tied's that up, tied's right. down, tied's oh, in, tied's out. Very so good. there you have it. I, boy, I, I can use this all the time. I'm sure you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've heard that you're you're still in the detective agency business, and I'm sure you probably have a lot of cases. Oh yes, I do. I, I've got. I'm looking for the the missing hangnail right now. Oh, the and missing. It, it's so hang hard that's... to find those. Uh, oh. Well, I'll find it somewhere. But if oh. you'll excuse me, I'll just go oh. up and find the missing. Thank hangnail. you again for saving our Thank ship you, Captain. and coming on the Captain McCool show. You're very welcome. Okay. I like the work you're doing with children. Thank oh. you very much. Bye, Good gang. Man. Bye. Hey. What a show, man! We got to we got to see Willie Ketchum and the Hope Academy kids are here. Oh man! And I'll tell you what, I don't want to see that Captain McCool again. I hope I never see that guy again. He's just he's such an evil twin. I, I, oh yeah, that's right, growl. But which leads me to tell you that this is the end of the show. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. It's up to I know it's hard to take. But hey, guess what? We're gonna do more. We're gonna do more. Yeah. Yeah, we got more. Right. Yeah, this isn't the last one. Right. So, in order, but we have to tell the kids one thing. Right. In order right. to have a successful life, you have to do three things. Right. And do you remember the first one? Oh, don't forget to say your prayers every right. day. Right. right. Listen to and obey your parents. Right. And right. that goes for teachers too, right, right. Hope Kids? Yeah. That's right. right. And always tell the truth, right? Right. That's right. 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 Yeah. That's all the time we have. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on Captain McCool and Friends. Goodbye, everybody. Bye -bye.